Very interesting thing about treating these, the, the story is almost always the same, that these are found incidentally. This is very different from when I went to medical school where people presented with blood in their urine or they presented with metastatic disease. Nowadays, almost everybody is scanned for some reason other than their kidneys. They've got abdominal pain, appendicitis, uh, some abnormality that they're scanning them, and we happen upon a kidney tumor. That's good, because those kidney tumors are usually small, and they're usually not symptomatic, and they're usually curable. About kidney cancer, there are some good news and bad news aspects of it. It's a kind of an unusual tumor, and I brought up this Jekyll and Hyde profile for it. The good news is, when we find these, they tend to grow very slowly in the range of about three or four millimeters a year. So that's like a sixteenth of an inch in diameter they grow a year, on average. They don't spread when they're small. It's very, very rare if they're less than three centimeters, which is a little over an inch, that they would ever spread anywhere beyond that tumor. And if they haven't spread, the cure rate is very, very high, greater than 90 percent. The bad news is, if it has spread, it's really not likely to be curable. The cure rate is less than 10 percent if it's too late. And the treatments, really, there's not great treatment for it. Chemotherapy, radiation may slow it down a little bit. There's a rare case where somebody is cured, but again, the cure rate is very, very low. So good news, if we catch it early, easy to cure. Catch it late, not very good.